A cathode ray oscilloscope can be used in a variety of applications, such as observation of waveforms, measurement of voltage, and the determination of frequency of alternating current signals, that is, AC signals. In this video, I'm going to focus on two uses, measurement of voltage and determination of frequency of AC signals. My name is Clive Mdemo, keep watching until the end. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Before we start discussing the uses, there are a few basics you need to understand about the cathode ray oscilloscope. First, you need to be aware that the time base tells you how many seconds each division represents. For example, if our time base reading is 10 milliseconds per division, it means the spot takes 10 milliseconds to move across one division. The Y gain tells you how many volts each division represents. Y gain simply means movement on the Y direction. If for instance the Y gain is 0.2 volts per division, it simply means that each division represents 0.2 volts. After those two important tips, let us now discuss the uses of the cathode ray oscilloscope. To use the cathode ray oscilloscope as a voltmeter, the time base circuit is switched off and the voltage to be measured is connected to the Y plates. The vertical displacement or the amplitude is measured and the voltage is determined using the formula voltage is equal to displacement or amplitude times sensitivity of the Y gain, which is normally given in volts per division. On the diagram shown on the screen, our displacement is obtained by counting the number of divisions from the zero level to the peak or simply count the number of divisions from peak to peak then divide by 2. The sensitivity of the Y gain is given as 100 volts per division. Voltage will be displacement which is 3 times the sensitivity of the Y gain which is 100 volts per division that is 300 volts. Please note that you might be having the displacement and the sensitivity of the Y gain and you're supposed to get the voltage or you might be having the voltage and the displacement and you're supposed to get the sensitivity of the Y gain. The second use of the cathode ray oscilloscope is the determination of frequency of AC signals. To determine the frequency of an AC signal, the AC signal is connected to the Y plates with the time base setting on. Remember, we say that when both X plates, that is the time base and the Y plates are switched on at the same time, the cathode ray oscilloscope will display a waveform on the screen. The time base control knob is adjusted to give one or more cycles on the screen. If the time base setting is given as 10 milliseconds per division, it means the spot on the screen covers one division in 10 milliseconds. Hence, count the number of divisions covered by the spot to form a complete wave. On the diagram shown on the screen, the number of divisions covered by one cycle is 4. Thus, if the spot takes 10 milliseconds to cover one division, how long will it take to cover 4 divisions? It's simply going to be 10 milliseconds multiplied by 4 divisions. That will be 40 milliseconds. Converting 40 milliseconds to seconds, you're going to have 0.04 seconds. Then using the formula, frequency is equal to the reciprocal of the period, we're going to have frequency being equal to the reciprocal of 0.04 and that's going to give us 25 hertz as the frequency of the AC signal. Well, that's how you can use the cathode ray oscilloscope as a voltmeter to measure voltages and also to determine the frequency of AC signals. The cathode ray oscilloscope is advantageous over the ordinary voltmeters because it can measure large voltages without getting damaged, response instantaneously, unlike ordinary voltmeters whose pointers will swing momentarily about the correct reading due to inertia. It can measure both direct and alternating voltages. Lastly, it has a very large resistance, hence does not take any current. This means it does not interfere with the circuit in which it's connected. 
that's all we had for you today thank you for watching until the end